Welcome back, gang. It's Delta from DeltiasGaming.com here with an update on Battleground Only Queue going away and being reverted after a post from Gina Bruno, Zoss Community Manager for the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm going to summarize the post here the too long didn't read. is basically they're getting rid of deathmatch only queues and going back and reverting to solo random with both land grabs and deathmatch. This is a very controversial decision, and I'm going to react to it and show you how I reacted live and give you my opinion on it and what they can do to incentivize Battlegrounds based on another mode that has gotten a lot more popular recently, and that's Imperial City. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's pull this up. Looks like Gina had a post, and let's actually read this thing and react to it. So this is posted in the forums. I heard that's a popular place to be. First off, says Gina Bruno, community manager. Shout out to Gina. She got a promotion. Whether you disagree with her or not on things, good for her. Thanks to everyone for participating in all the Battleground Qs test over the past few months, including the most recent edition of Deathmatch Only Qs over winter break. We were able to pull together a lot of data from these tests regarding Battleground participation and ultimately found it did not significantly affect the population, uh, participation and population. We did see the suggestion for adding additional Q option, considered those as well, but doing so would splinter the Battleground population too much and would lead to much longer Q times. Such, we are making the call to remove death match only Q options. Starting in update 33, which should be um, quarter one of 2022, the default option for battleground queues will be solo random, and the drop down selection will have group random. All game modes will be both of these queues. This will be the last change we make to battleground queues for the foreseeable future. Thanks again for partaking in these tests and aiding us in gathering very valuable feedback. What sticks out to me is they're looking at data in Battlegrounds. They're looking at how to improve the population and how to make the queue shorter. In all honesty, regardless if you disagree with the uh, change or not, they're looking into it. That's a good sign. They want Battlegrounds to be healthy. They want it to be a good po part of the population in the game, which I absolutely love it. I don't think the problem with Battlegrounds is deathmatch or not. I think the problem with Battlegrounds is the lack of incentives to repeatedly play it. Why would I go do a random Battleground when I earn one transmute? However, Zoss doing a deep dive over a long period of time, both group, solo, objective based, non-objective based is good. For those really, really um, hardcore people out there that want just deathmatch in a high MMR and ELO and all that, I don't think this population, this game supports that to be a true robust experience without sitting around like Star Wars or Republic with 45 minute queues. Cause that's what you get over there. Sitting on the fleet, queue up solo ranked. No one does it. Cause there's only eight people that actually play that in the entire game on the server. I just want the battlegrounds to be, have a healthy population where you can play quickly but I also want there to be really good incentives so that the, the population can get a little wider in variance. That way, I'm not going into these battlegrounds and absolutely destroying people that have been there their very first battleground. That's a terrible experience. It's like what I experienced playing Destiny 2 PvP. It's miserable. I walk in there, I get destroyed. There needs to be some learning uh, ground, something that can get people a taste of battlegrounds, which is usually an incentive. I think what they need to do is take a look at Imperial City. Why in the world is Imperial City so much more popular now on PC uh, EU specifically, because it has great incentives. You can PVP, it's high risk, high reward. You can make a crap ton of gold. It's super just intense, big fights. There's Zergs down there. There's solo players down there. Um, the encounters are epic because if you lose, you lose big, you lose gold indirectly. That's what makes it so fun. There's an up uh, upstairs where there's high risk, high reward. There's a downstairs where very few people go besides Molag Ball, but it has big risk reward. It has awesome monster helms. You can make millions of gold if you're a sweaty PVP player picking off lambs. And they continue to actually put in things to increase incentives. You gotta give them, you gotta be honest with them. Imperial City is one that's working better. Now, Cyrodiil is lagged. 
Imperial City, last time I checked, does not lag. Even those big, huge, massive fights. And there's PvE going on. It's awesome zone. And I wish Battlegrounds got the same treatment that Imperial City did. Monster Helms. Perfected and non-perfected weapons. Mounts. Dies. Uh, collectibles. Not like five or six motives that no one wants. I'm talking Emperor the costume equivalent of stuff to get. People will be doing Battlegrounds all day. Um, yeah, I guess sadly PvP ESO isn't that popular. I don't think it is. I think Cyrodiil is. Because Cyrodiil, let's be honest. Let's be honest, 100% honest. You can hide in the Zerg. I do it. Got no problem admitting it. And so the average player can hide in the Zerg and you know, play a 50-man group and feel like they're impactful. Where Battlegrounds, there ain't no hiding. Just like VMA. You got all these people that say they're God's gift to trials and they go do VMA and they get absolutely deleted. Same thing. You can go hide in the Zerg. I do it all the time. No problem. But Battlegrounds, you ain't hiding. <laughs> Uh, we need to get Ritz on interview on stream. I think he would do it if I'd ask him, probably. I haven't never asked him. But he's a good guy. He's a really good human being, honestly. Great guy. And two things can be true. You can disagree with certain things about uh, the game and maybe, like, how it goes. But you can also agree that people that, you know, develop it are great human beings. And we gotta remember, this game is more of a casual game, to be honest with you. It's the Elder Scrolls. Uh, you can <laughs> Zan the Xanum fixing serial stuff. I mean, they get so much crap every day. Gina and some of them people just reading so much crap and vitriol and hate. You would act like, uh, it's something super serious, but it's just a game. But yeah, anyways. Change the subject! Change it! Well, gang, that's the video. Was I right? Was I wrong? And where do you think Elder Scrolls Online and this decision really lands for you? Is it a big mistake? What do they need to do to incentivize Battlegrounds and really fix PvP so the instance-based PvP rivals some other MMOs, specifically even old archaic Star Wars Roy Public? Make sure to hit that like, leave a comment, and subscribe so this video can grow and your boy Delta can grow. Also consider watching me live on twitch.tv slash Gaming. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.